Good afternoon. Our 12.30 p.m. Harper II ceremony will now begin closer to 12.45 p.m. Traffic out in our parking lots is a little congested, so we can make sure to get everyone into the event center in an orderly fashion. Again, we will start the Harper II ceremony at 12.45 p.m. Thank you.
Good afternoon. Our 12.30 p.m. Harper II ceremony will now begin closer to 12.45 p.m. Traffic out in our parking lots is a little congested, so we can make sure to get everyone into the event center in an orderly fashion. Again, we will start the Harper II ceremony at 12.45 p.m. Thank you.
and Papa is a king, so I am a princess, I know it. But court etiquette is a dull, dreary thing. I just hate it all, and I show it. To sing on the stage, that's the one life for me. My fingers just like the Trazzini. I know I win fame if I sang in Bowen, that opera by Signor Bocelli.
I am Grand Marshal Natalia Miatovich, and I would like to call to order the commencement of the Harper College of Arts and Sciences of the State University of New York at Binghamton. Everyone, please rise as you're able. We welcome you to join vocalist Rebecca Grabarchuk in singing the national anthem. stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets ran clear the bombs bursting in our Please be seated. Good afternoon. I am Dean Celia Klin. Uh, and this is a special ceremony as we bring together our baccalaureate candidates as well as their families and friends. Congratulations to you all. Before we proceed with our ceremony, I would like to welcome members of the Binghamton University Council who are joining us today. Please hold your applause until they have both been introduced. Linda Beamer and Jennifer Lesko. I would also like to introduce our other special guests who sit with us on the stage this afternoon. They will stand as I call their names, and again, please hold your applause until all have been introduced. President Harvey Stenger, Donald Neiman, Provost and Executive Vice President for Academic Affairs, Sheila Doyle, Executive Director, Binghamton Foundation, Scott Foyer, Alumni Association President, Karen Jones, Vice President for Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion, Curtis Kendrick, Dean, University Libraries, Claire Martinez, Student Speaker, Natalia Miavtovich, Grand Marshal, Professor, Art and Design, Chair, Faculty Senate. Pamela Mission, Platform Party, Marshal and Faculty Advisor to the President. Bhagat Samakia, Vice President for Research. Elise Thornley, Professional Staff Senate. And Michael Timoney, Harper Alumni Award recipient. Please join me in applauding these special guests. Let me also recognize all of the esteemed faculty members who have mentored and guided our graduates. Your efforts have been crucial to the intellectual growth and achievements we celebrate today. Will all faculty on the stage and in the audience please rise as you are able. Please join me as we applaud their support and dedication to the success of our students. I would also like to thank the Binghamton University Wind Symphony and our vocalist Rebecca Grabachek and the Edward P. Maloney Memorial Pipe Band for their participation in today's ceremony. Again, welcome to our celebration of the Harper College of Arts and Sciences Class of 2022. It is now my pleasure to introduce President Harvey Stenger.
exactly. <laughs> Welcome to our celebration of the Harper College of Arts and Sciences Class of 2022. Congratulations, graduates. I also want to recognize the faculty members who have mentored and guided the graduates. Your efforts have been crucial to the intellectual growth and achievements we celebrate today. Thank you. And a special welcome as well to the parents, family, and friends who are here today to share in the joy of watching a loved one reach a rare milestone. Your support and involvement have been crucial to our graduates' success, ensuring that the occasional challenges of writer's block, failed experiments, and lower than expected test scores were never too difficult to overcome. Thank you, families. The degree our graduates are receiving today is a sign that tells the world that they have achieved the level of expertise that will allow them to advance or commence in their chosen discipline and have the prerequisite knowledge to add to the quality of life we lead as global citizens. It's my pleasure to introduce Provost Donald Neiman. Good afternoon. Oh, you can do better than that. Good afternoon. All right. Harper has spirit, right? It's my great pleasure to be among the first to congratulate you on your remarkable accomplishment. You are a truly remarkable group of students at the time you applied to Binghamton, you demonstrated that you had the academic ability to succeed in one of the best public universities in the United States. Yeah. And since you arrived on our campus, whether you came as first year student or as transfer students, you have not only shown that you are very bright, you've demonstrated that you're hardworking, intellectually curious, and eager to make the most of what this great university has to offer. You've also shown that you have a great sense of humor, like to have fun, and care about serving others. You embody the balance that makes Binghamton University such a great place to learn and to work. It's been a pleasure to have you as our students. I want to congratulate you on your many, many accomplishments, and I want you to be sure and keep in touch with us and keep us informed of the many accomplishments that are yet to come. Congratulations, class of 2022. Now I'm going to turn it back over to your dean, Celia Klein. Thank you, Provost Neiman. It is now my distinct pleasure to introduce our speaker and the recipient of the Harper College Distinguished Alumni Award, Michael Timoney. Michael earned his bachelor's degree in history and political science from Harper College, and he is currently the senior vice president and chief government strategy office officer for the multinational company Cisco, where he leads the company's government relations worldwide. Prior to joining Cisco, Michael spent over two decades working on Capitol Hill in the U.S. House of Representatives and the U.S. Senate, serving as the Chief of Staff to five members of Congress. In addition to Michael's many professional achievements and his deep commitment to public service, Michael has generously given back to the students in Harper College and Binghamton University. In 2016, 
Michael established a scholarship that provides financial support to students interested in pursuing careers in politics and public service. In addition to financial support, Michael provides mentorship and professional development for the scholarship recipients. Michael also serves on the Harper College Advocacy Council, the Binghamton University Foundation Board of Directors, and volunteers his time to speak in classes and at alumni events. It is my great pleasure and honor to have Michael Timoney here today to share his story as you take the next steps in your journey. In recognition of his, his accomplishments and in recognition accomplishments and dedication to Harper College and Binghamton University, I am delighted to present Michael Timoney with the Harper College Distinguished Alumni Award. this back. Thank you, Dean Klin and President Stenger for having me today and for this wonderful honor. To the families and friends in the audience, thank you for joining us. And to the graduates, it's great to be here with you. I suspect the Dean invited me here today to prove to you, the graduating students, that there is life after college and to your parents that there is, in fact, a job after college. <laughs> now, I know some people in my generation, you know them as boomers, or other generations that came before you, think that you may have had an easy life. But I both resent and reject that assumption. In fact, no generation in the last 75 years has been confronted with more chaos throughout their early lives than the millions of young Americans in your generation, Generation Z. Born around 9-11, you grew up with heavy and challenging circumstances. Some of your parents lost their homes due to the 2008 financial crisis. Your schools, which should have been safe places, became all too familiar with lockdown drills. You're seeing the impacts of climate change on a daily basis, even on this beautiful day here in Binghamton. You witnessed the murder of George Floyd and the movement that it fueled. You're seeing threats to our democracy and world peace, as well as the loss of respect for truth in public life. And of course, the coronavirus pandemic has taken the lives of loved ones and has drastically disrupted your college experience. And all of this experience was accelerated through, your social, me through social media and landed in your lap before you even got to this special day. So don't let anyone tell you that you are soft. In my view, you are really tough as nails. Although we can't choose the era in which we live, we can still choose our own paths. And we can look at the positives. For example, right now, there are so many job openings across the country. Employers are begging for talent. And the pandemic pushed the country online in a way that we never could have imagined. As a result, work is more flexible, and many jobs are no longer tied to a location, geography, time frame, or time zone. But as you enter this next journey of your life, and as you chase your aspirations, do not forget your inspirations. Everyone in this crowd was inspired by someone. This inspiration is likely what pushed you in the first place to come to Harper College, select a degree, and choose a certain career path. While in high school, I was inspired by the late New York Senator Robert F. Kennedy and his relentless pursuit of social justice and equality. It led me to a career in public service, 21 years on Capitol Hill, working for seven different members of Congress. And whether you're inspired by a political leader, an innovator, a professor, a CEO, an artist, or an activist, from Jose Andres to, Kat to Katanji Brown Jackson to Vladimir Zelensky, you will quickly find a common theme among them. 
they did not get to where they are today without critical support from others along the way. The phrase, I alone can fix it, is probably the least true public statement ever uttered. In every step in my own life, I was helped by people not like me. They taught me, guided me, hired me, promoted me, mentored me, and stood by me. I quickly learned that relationships should be like a recipe, different ingredients, not all the same, and they should be additive. So look outside your immediate world to the wider world which awaits you. As the old 70s rock band Yes One sound sang, don't surround yourself with yourself. Seek out people who are different from you and you will be rewarded with a greater human understanding, cultural knowledge, and the most important thing, compassion. And of course, thank those who helped you along the way, your mothers and your fathers, grandparents, siblings, teachers, and others who raised you, who I'm sure were the original source of your inspiration. So as a matter of fact, right now, I think we should turn around and thank all of the people in this room who helped you get to this, this very special day. So we'll give them a round of applause. As a fellow Harper College alumnus, I know that everyone here has bold aspirations. It's ingrained in the Binghamton culture. Just think about our history. We stand here today in a public institution built by the state of New York as a result of the vision of several governors, other political leaders, and the great people of New York. You and I are the direct beneficiaries of a successful political movement as well as the political courage to invest in our young people so that they can become future leaders and to invest selflessly knowing that they themselves probably would not benefit, but others would in the future. And because of their dream, you can dream. Today, you are equal to or ahead of every other college graduate in the country. No matter where you started, you may be the first in your family to have graduated to graduate from college. I was the second in my family. You are in a great place. So now what? That's a scary question, isn't it? Although this, this ceremony commencement marks the end of your college experience, it is meant to signal the beginning of the rest of your life. I was an RA here at Binghamton and briefly the dorm director of Smith Hall, which is another sort of scary thing if you think about it. That along with the reputation of my Harper College degree got me my first job on Capitol Hill working for the late New York Congresswoman Shirley Chisholm, another source of inspiration for me. Her office thought an RA and a dorm director would be able to work well with constituents, but between you and me as a dorm director, I just tried to make sure that the dorm parties didn't get the police called. And in most cases, I was successful. In reality, I was just 22 years old when I took my first job. I had no idea what I was getting into, but that's what starting a career can feel like. It's intimidating, yet also exciting and exhilarating. So jump in without hesitation or reservation. Of course, along the way, you have to navigate ups and downs. I've certainly had mine. Your first job, even your first couple of jobs, may not be your dream job, but it should lay the foundation for your career. Think of it as your first job and not your last job. And when you get that first step, learn everything about the job, throw yourself into the work, be present and always available with total abandon. So now my new fellow Harper College alumni, let me just say this to you. Later in life, when you've accomplished what you've set out to do and you are established in your career, promise us all one thing, that you'll have the aspiration to be an inspiration. Reflect on the help you receive throughout your life 
and pay it back by paying it forward. How, you might ask. Share what you've learned with future young people. Lend your hand and be a mentor, just like those who helped you. It will be both satisfying to you and fulfilling, which is the goal of life, isn't it? And will lead to a better and kinder society, country, and world. I'm excited to see what this class accomplishes in the coming years. Thank you and congratulations to all of you. Thank you, Michael, for your remarks. Please rise as Rebecca Grabarczyk and the University Wind Symphony perform the Harper Alma Mater. The lyrics can be found on page 12 of the commencement program. Please be seated. I would now like to introduce our Alumni Association President, Scott Foyer. Scott would like to share congratulations on behalf of our Alumni Association. Thank you, Dean, and good afternoon, everyone. It's truly an honor to be here today to speak to you on behalf of the Alumni Association. First, I'd like to congratulate each of you on graduating from Binghamton University. Completing your degree was a major accomplishment which required diligence and hard work. I'm certain these characteristics will propel you on a path to success in your career. By graduating today, you automatically become a member of Binghamton's Alumni Association, and you join a great organization that will be here for you in so many ways. We offer opportunities to network with fellow alumni, both socially and for career development, engage in community service projects, attend educational programs, and much more. Our alumni network now has more than 150,000 members, and you may be surprised to hear that we have Binghamton grads in more than 100 countries around the world. Wherever you go, remember that you are an ambassador for Binghamton. Proudly wear your Binghamton shirts and hats, and display your gear at home and at work. Your Binghamton experience is a great conversation starter when you meet new people. Everyone knows someone who went to Binghamton. Among our many accomplished alumni are CEOs and senior managers at leading corporations, leaders in the financial and legal industries, renowned engineers, teachers, nurses, doctors, scientists, social workers, and professionals of all kinds, as well as media personalities, movie stars, and even a United States congressman. Our global network is here for you. Take full advantage of it. 
Binghamton alumni want to help each other, so don't be shy about using the online alumni directory and reaching out to other Binghamton grads. Be sure to keep your directory information current. We can't tell you about our great programs and networking opportunities if we can't find you. Follow us on social media and attend alumni events in your area or here on campus. When you receive an email from the Alumni Association, take a minute to read it so you don't miss out on something you might enjoy. Make plans now to come back for homecoming October 7th to 9th to see your friends. Your time as a student may have concluded, but your relationship with your alma mater is meant to last a lifetime. Visit binghamton.edu slash alumni to learn more about what your alumni association offers, and please consider getting involved with your local chapter. It's a great way to meet new people and stay connected to Binghamton. Enjoy this day and take it all in. You've worked hard to get here. Know that your alumni association wishes you all the success in the world. Thank you. Thank you, Scott. It is now my distinct pleasure to introduce Claire Martinez, the 2022 Harper College of Arts and Sciences student commencement speaker. Claire entered Binghamton University with an interest in the sciences as part of the freshman research immersion program, but found her true passion elsewhere. She is graduating cum laude with a Bachelor of Arts degree in both English and theater. Clapping's good. We'll take it. <laughs> Claire has been an active member of the residential life community, having been a resi resident assistant for two years. She also served on the Diversity in Action Committee in the theater department, in addition to her time with the Alpha Phi Omega Service Fraternity. Claire will be working full-time upon graduation with the Real Staffing Group. Please welcome to the podium, Claire Martinez. Thank you, Dean Clinton. I also want to thank the members of our esteemed faculty, proud parents, faithful friends, and squirming siblings. It's such an honor to be standing before all of you today. It feels surreal to be actually graduating. I read about it. <laughs> I heard about it. And there are charges on my bank statement saying I paid for the cap and gown. But somehow, this still feels like a dream. If I'm being entirely honest, this is the moment I wanted to ask a really inspirational question. But the only question in my head is, what now? I know, the obvious answer to that would be to get a job, to move somewhere new, to travel, think about grad school, just think, whoa. <laughs> um, clear off my debt. However, the real answer may not be that simple. We graduated during a pandemic, and there's so much to unpack with those five words. So much history and sacrifice underneath such a small statement. This has been one of the most difficult times to be a student in a very long time. Every bit of our lives has changed and will continue to change, but maybe that's not a bad thing. There was one pro to going to school during the pandemic, for me at least. My grandparents and their friends can't brag to me about how hard it was to get to school anymore. <laughs> Has anyone else caught that? There's no more tales about daily 18-mile hikes or whatever it is that they did. In all seriousness, though, there are many things that I wish weren't taken from me, and even more things I wish I didn't take for granted. I wish I could have had the college experience that I planned for. I wish that I didn't have to miss out on years' worth of experiences. I wish that I knew Binghamton like the back of my hand. You know, all the best spots for chicken tenders at 2 a.m. It'd be great. <laughs> but unfortunately, I can't. Those wishes will stay just that, wishes. I think that it's important that I acknowledge that with you all today. Acknowledge the chaos and unpredictability that has echoed throughout our college experience and our lives. I think it's important I hold space for that because as much as there is to celebrate, because there is so much, it's okay for there to be a small space for grief too. But. We have futures to plan for, dreams to bring to life, and passions to chase down and grab hold of. 
Even though the world is becoming smaller and somehow less familiar each day, we're learning how the world needs our help, where we have power, how exactly to wield it. We're asked to draw our own lines in the sand, to fight for ourselves, our rights, and our futures each day. And it's daunting, I'll admit that. But if the past few years have taught me anything, it's that we can take everything the world throws at us head on. We are the generation of passion, purpose, fighters, heroes, common core guinea pigs, Robin Hoods, and survivors. So as much as this next chapter is scary and things are uncertain and outside of our control, some of us will tragically lose access to our Amazon student discount. It'll never completely be uncharted territory. We are surviving a pandemic. In the history books that will be written about us, we'll be remembered as people with strength, courage, compassion, and resilience. Most of us are worrying about getting a job, how to quickly move out, how to use our degree, and all the things that we were always going to worry about. But now we have a lot more tools at our disposal. We're thrown into rock bottom and had the world ripped away from us. And we still managed to claw our way back and take charge of what's rightfully ours, our future. So I'll bring us back to my original question. What now? Well, it's our turn to make a move. I think after watching the world go by for two years, there's a long list, of bucket, a bucket list to check off, I should say. I'm gonna raise my hand. Anyone else? Raise your hand real quick. Perfect. <laughs> I think all we need to do now is give ourselves permission to move forward and take the reins. Speaking of reins, I just wanted to say that the first thing I'll do after I graduate, um, it'll be a graduation gift to myself. It'll be reins and a horse, because the price to fill up my gas tank after this will be absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> I can't tell you how much I wish the 2015 Back to the Future flying car theory was real. Uh, like the concept is aging just a little too well. A flying car that conveniently runs on garbage. Wow. <laughs> you know what? Here's my official call to action, because I want my message, my takeaway to be as long as we do things together, no matter how hard, no matter how crazy, no matter how silly they may be. We can do anything together. So here's the plan. Everybody can take part in this, by the way. We're all gonna be taking graduation pictures anyway. And if you already took your pictures, take some more. <laughs> um, instead of saying cheese or smile when you take the picture, just say flying car so your phone picks it up. I wanna test something, okay? All the pictures that you post, have like a hashtag flying car written in there somewhere, okay? If we do this collectively, what I'm hoping for is that someone's TikTok algorithm will change, and then we're on our way. <laughs> I hope you all are proud of what you accomplished, and I genuinely hope you move forward from here, take the world by storm, and we have our flying cars by 2030. <laughs> so congratulations, class of 2022. We did it. Thank you. Thank you, Claire, for your remarks. At this time, we will recognize the accomplishments of our baccalaureate degree candidates. First, we will recognize students who have achieved Latin honors. We recognize three levels of achievement, cum laude, magna cum laude, and summa cum laude. The names of the candidates for these honors appear in the commencement program. Over 900 Harper College students are candidates for Latin honors, so we will not recognize each by name, but we shall recognize students attending today by having them stand in place. So first, candidates graduating cum laude, please rise. You may be seated. So next, candidates graduating, magna cum laude, please rise. You may be seated. And finally, candidates graduating, summa cum laude, please rise.
You may be seated. My congratulations to all of you on your outstanding academic achievements. Latin honors are based on a student's cumulative grade point average. Students who have earned the distinction of departmental honors or distinguished independent work have achieved academic excellence and have been recognized by the faculty in their major department. President Stenger, as the Dean of Harper College, I am pleased to present to you these candidates who have fulfilled all of their baccalaureate degree requirements as prescribed by the faculty. Matthew Hollis, please join the President and me in greeting the degree candidates from the Individualized Major Program. And student marshal, Matthew Lewis, and school marshal, Carl Lippo, please lead the candidates to the platform so that all may receive recognition for their academic achievement. Matthew Henry Lewis. <clears throat> Anna Luz Kallenberg. Claudia A. Francis. Madeline Mignon Hastings. Uh, Robin, uh, Robert Reginald Provillis. Jubari Books Brown. Kendra Amara Gorje. Aji Afu Sekim Miles. I'd like to call C. Beth Birch forward to greet the candidates for Judaic Studies. Sasha Kinsler. Sigem Hossein. Thank you, Professor. I'd like to call Giovanna Montenegro forward to greet the candidates for Latin American and Caribbean Studies program. Amia Casey Castro. Amaya Castro. Nylea Teresa Anderson. Riame Hernandez. Leslie Aquip Lapa. Thank you, Professor. I'd like to call Peter Neffer forward to greet the candidates from the Department of Geological Sciences. Eilish Goring. Harry Lawrence Janoff. Joseph Christopher Murray. Isaac Spiegel. Gabriel J. Chen. Marie Rose, Rose Taylor. Mauricio David Hollis. Hudson Hyams. Alexander Joseph Kernsinski. Liam Morrow. Cassandra Derrick. Sava Ducavalacante. Suvea de la Cante. Cotton Rayti. Jenna Amoy Johnson. Oh, there's no card between them. Well, thank you. I'd like to call the professor up for the uh, English Literature and Creative Writing. I don't know if we have somebody. 
There was no pig card. Oh, we're moving into geography. <laughs> well, thank you. We have the geography is actually next. I saw you. So I'd like to call Juan Yu from geography to please come and welcome your majors. Sorry about that. Can I get these? Morris Samuel Sutton. Ryan T. Safa. Dylan Shilkuf. Ethan Logan Godsey. John W. Cook. Carrie Lynn Ma Marie Ter Temesira. Wei Lu. Samuel D. Schiller. Edward Dolan. Vincent Michael Basile. Daniel McKinney. Theodore Frederick McLaughlin. David Shad Stenzi, Jr. Kaya Doyle. Tired. Christopher Brooks Jankus. Ryan Patrick Kinsulu. Emma Catherine Fuller. Brian Giagrande. Ashley Chang. Sophia Martina Fasulu. Christopher Armstrong. Joshua Boyce. Gabriella Valerio. Thank you, Professor. Will Thomas Culp please come and join me to acknowledge the candidates from the Environmental Studies Program. Okay. Gabriella Bieto. Elizabeth Nadine Conley. Elizabeth Lindsay Graff. Emily Rose Outwater. Michael Abdallah. Ariel Faith Kang. Tessa S. Clark. Olivia Lynn Loroquia. Kristen E. Carano. Emma Megan Smajer. Matthew Joseph Franchi. Kimberly Gonzalez. Cole Matthew Warren. Eve Alexandra Milicic. Elizabeth Ashley Cameron. Angela DeVico. Julia Bogovoyov. Michaela Marie Scarabelli. Kara Grace he Heaney. Catherine Alora Farrell. Shirley He, Sophia Merritt Brody, Vickley Chung, Bria D. Gunsberg, Grace Catherine Longendike, Mary K. Williams, Sarah Renee Mello, Danielle Rebecca Jaffe. Joseph William Kovar, Jr. Adam Philip David. Alexandria Reese Palmerton. J. 
Jesse Cornell Cayley. Bryce Joseph Shore. Olivia Guerrero Gray. Abigail M. Lilly. Thomas Dykstra. Brianna Julie Laughlin. Jack Judson. Eric Fung. Abigail Long. Quinton Marley Evans. McKenna Meyer. Sophia Lily Papas. Michelle Vatanarat Jana Niruquan. Justin Ia Santiago. Cassidy Nicole Rivers. Julian Enrique Navarro. Jaslyn Papanandria. Sophia Richie Fossey. Tegan Lim Jones. Brandon Eric Bredu. Emma Riley. Susan Marlene Harvey. Ryan Edward Just. Brian Chang. Dylan Daniel Khan. Shelby Green. Emma C. Moore. Jacob W. Specht. Carson A. Stetcher. Thank you, Professor. Uh, will Nathan and Andrade please join me at the podium to receive the history and global and international affairs majors? Aiden Michael Tuhoy. Baron Goksef Def. Cade Portnoy. Lucas John Alper. Brady James Andrews. Zachary T. Pepito. Connor James Sweeney. Benjamin Wong. Courage Crawford. Jonathan Wong. Orion Clark. Olivia Kathleen de, P de Palermo. Andrew Mussolino. Gerard Pine. Robert Thomas Gilbert. Kyle J. Flanagan. Aaron Michaelis Mesco. Liam Joseph Walsh. Jonathan Ong. Devin Murphy. Colin James Tobin. Jordan John Lopinski. Matthew Edward Jaronzik. Christopher Thomas Henriquez. Kenneth Ronald Dalloway. Yubin Shin. William Thomas Lombardo. Kevin Sun. Ken Kenneth Shun. Nicholas Anthony Zecca. Mia Elizabeth Smith. Jonathan L. Schoenfeld. 
Michaela Fortune Otto. Sarah Luna Boyle. Elena Hope Kodish. Nicolette Benevento. Kayla Michelle Roach. Caroline DeConstanzo. Olivia Arden Uribe. Joseph M. Flom. Christopher Casella. Brian Joseph Armstrong. Lucas Kruger. Thank you, Professor. Will Bridget Brander Rasmussen from the English Department please join me at the podium to receive your majors. Ariana Nichelle Marie Brown. Adi Weinberg. Claire Alisa Martinez. Xavier Rogers. <laughs> Tiffany Lene Fowler. <laughs> Angela Castronova. Grace Emily Morton. Sean Heminger. Logan R. Rice. Juliana Grace Reedman. Sunshine C. Lynch. Michael Gerard Martin. Raina Michaels. Luke William McMara. McNara. William Pisa. Lauren Mazirne. Maggie Elizabeth Bannon. Daniel Castle. Veronica Ann George. Amber Kerukitri. Bela Berger. Kevin Winkoff. Quinn Andrew Webster. Patrick Thomas Jamin. Elizabeth Grace Burns. Catherine Lara Cress. Emma Marie Todisco. Nicole Marie El Chemay. Joseph Thomas Vernice. Eliza Waxman. Olivia K. Karp. Aisha Bubeck. Sarah Rose Luciani. Alexander, Alexander Raynan Jackson. Renee Lynn Torres. Sabrina Maria Powers. <laughs> Young Han Kim. Sarah Marshall. Samantha Taylor Flat. Lauren A. Reams. Kai Jasim Hardy. Aaron Jun. Brittany Moy, Nicole Kwan, Jessica J. Tang, Lily Tang, Catalina Ramirez, Sophia Rosario, Caitlin Elizabeth Liu, 
Caitlin Ann Hart. Francesco Caprilio Gillicent. Dominica Anna Slushkevich. Masato S. Hirakata. Christopher Joseph Bacala Jr. Maria Paula Chaparro Sandria. Freddie Kyle Perpura. Perpura. Serena Cow. Neil Paul Ro Rocco Jr. Kayla Grace McKiernan. Eremamis Margarita Lorenzo. Kayla McLaughlin. Nicole Irene Barat. Caroline Christine Doherty. Zanrea Martinek McRae. McRae? McRae. Zaria Martinek McRae. Yes. Rachel G. Moss. Kristen Murray Ter Tercy. Angela Jenkins. Lyra Donna Ame Mektaj. Eilina Veleda. Hannah Surlovich. Emily Patricia Corso. Danielle Lori Collins. Nina Rayner. Daria Asil. Carmen Fu. Caitlin Michelle Iver. Shannon Marie McCann. Tara Janet Trigiano. Joshua James Gross. Elizabeth Hoyt. Danielle Marie Bradford. Isabella Marie Cavallo. Amy Milner. Sophia Grace Lobidando. Afe Oloa Balogan. Matthew Clifford Inneman. McNeil Theodore Gazetta. Jager Berkeley. Jager. Alexander James Heinkel. Marco, uh, Marco Kawatron Palzer. Amani Johnson. Shivani Patel. Angela Fon. Gail Lansman. Joshua David Corono. Thank you, Professor. Uh, Christopher Bishop from Integrative Neuroscience, will you please come forward to welcome your majors? Jessica Nicole Melita. Woo! Megan Jane Roloff. Woo! Julia L. Horowitz. Woo! Jennifer Marie Rona Ronaldo. Adela A. Tabuku. Catherine M. Gauthier. Yaakov Klugman. Sarush Abaresh. Jared Zubin. 
Juan Miguel Riestra. John William Panisi. Tyler Ian Thomas Breslow. English majors. So, oh, thank you, uh, Chris, uh, Professor Bishop. Could we bring the English department chair to meet some English students at the podium? Oop. I need your card. Your card. Christina Danielle Zerilli. Zaki Chen, Angeline Brett, Alexander Patillo, Rebecca M. Saban, Paige Joan Foley, Rebecca Nussbaum. Sydney Elizabeth Tees, Ryan Joseph Cor Cor Corsonetti, oh, Selena M. Wiener, Angela L. Chen, Sarah Henna Somes, Christina John Jacob. Amy Havill, Toussaint D. Clark, Kayla Ray Leave, Kayla Ray Leave. <laughs> Matthew Raymond Heider, <laughs> Jack Ennis Flanagan, Kristen Ariel Coletta, <laughs> Kelly Marie Pagnielio, Prangna Krishna Murti, <laughs> Allison Ann Squilante, <laughs> Ruth Estella Pruner Bol Bowling, <laughs> Veronica P. Levin. Still here. Kelly Marie Russo. Ariel Navi. Connor Raymond Scanlon. Danielle Caitlin Christopher. Tina M. Kutsos. Jameson Margiata. Olivia, Olivia Natalie Wislocki. Alexandra Nicole Haziz. Nicholas Bavari. <laughs> Teresa Eiling Ammerling. Mackenzie Page Wheeler. Katerina Nicole Klepapa <laughs> Opus. <laughs> Francis Evelyn Wallace, Christopher Lawrence Belcourt, Alina Mufti, Marissa Marie Canty, John Robert Kraus, Sanjita Hossein Namza, Sarah Page Landsberg. Alexandria Irma Cologne. Rachel Liebowitz. Isabella E. Jardine. Sonia Christine Lang. Gina M. Marjadino. Connor Thomas Smith. Benjamin M. Anopolsky. <laughs> Olivia Ray Ette. <laughs> Rebecca Lynn Herbrandt.
Benjamin Samuel Sunkin. Cooper James Hall. Haley A. Star Ace. Samantha M. Crouch. Emma Katharina Korchowski. Judy Lynn. William Bennett Scheel. Julian M. Tobin. Stephanie Michelle Cassins. Jake Restivo. Amanda Nicole Bruger. Valerie Velez. Dakota Musso. Paula Veronka Jentkowski. Monica Stepchik. Liana Grace Fourth. William Wenzel the Second. Caroline Mich Michelina Tuzinski. Stephanie Yan. Jessica Michelle Krupu. Uh, Elvis Alexander Uchupili Staicha. Hamza Rashid. Nicole McGrath. Amanda Jane Bopp. Gabriel Ning. Brian Chan. Emily Walters. Dennis James Cregen. Kenna Noel Martin. Jenna Lauren J James. Kayla Grace Chan. Brianna Christine Tidoko. Emily Marine Twiri. Samantha Catherine McGuire. Kayla Elder. Maria Camilla Carrion Rico. Annalise Jarski. Mark Melnick. Shana Haydar Shanki. Evans. Thomas Dylan Castro Avale. Joan Chan. Jordan Nicole Deniri. Katie H. Mock. Catherine A. Tilton. Patrick Geiger. Kevin Vera. John Peter Frugley. Nicholas Zhang. Daria Golubkova. Tiyasha Cody Tukwaku. Allison K. Grandi. Juan P. Mato. Evan Michael Duprano. Hannah J. Wojcik. Ishan Suptit Dashmuk. Sarah Beth Lebowitz. Owen Philip Goodenroth. Gregory Michael Chang. Thomas Luke Grande. Nicole Katie Los Santos. 
Priscilla Marie Obroshekia. Laura Navarro Gomez. Marina Thompson, Thomas. Devin Michael Leno. Payam Naruzu. Connor Joseph Lawless. Isaac A. Savilson. Abigail Marie Kelly. Samin Zuman. Madeline Lauren Lux. Sophia Marie Valerno. Danielle Rose Stern. Nicole Tenenzaka. Ikaterana Kapitonova. Vanessa L. Kotler. Adrian Lewis. Divya Sara jo Jose. Juliona Ilana Vola O. Viola. <laughs> Maya Lynn Carmichael. Arpit Patel. David P. Matthews. Max W. Garfinkel. Benjamin D. Triber. Madeline Elizabeth Perez. Matthew Allen Kachamo. Alicia Ina Ocasio. Sarah A. Shatla. Diana Carolina Almala. Anataj Brink Clark. Paul Vincent De Stefano III. Randy Aber Abramvich. Julia Marie Rinaldi. Carlos Daniel Rodriguez. Emily Rose Bello. Madison Elizabeth Pelnat. Amelia Lee Rossi. Caitlin Gunvenier. Melissa Rush. Victoria Lotak. Ariel Friedman. Brianna Pfaff. Victoria Rosalie DeSantis. De Elnaz Cota Praris. Nicole Sierra Reams. Dana Nash Silberstein. Vanessa Carey Farrell. Shamalina Suku. Arthur Vasily Izervovich. Alexandra Lorne Daly. Aaron Maiman. Jacob Thomas Fainai. Luca Giovanni Di Corrado. Emily Joe and Dion. Jessica L. Varghetto. Rose Rabadi. Erica Danielle Hurry Heranoko. Coral Jacobellis. 
Winnie Jeon Yu Chu. Jane Elizabeth Stewart. Lucy Lynn. Nicole Lockwood. Janez Alicia Francis. Oh, cart. <laughs> Mavie Francis Hatfeld. James Pugliati. Marianne Jacqueline Bone. Victoria Elizabeth Sturpey. Alexa Hope Carleo. Allison Catherine Favelli. Adriana E. Saras. Alexander Ryan Zampirian. Joseph L. Starling. Megan Ann Chipper. Terrence Lowe. Jarit Paul Pilau. Joshua Yam. Emily Zhou. Katie Y. Chen. Richard Bellino. Aaron Horn. Sarah Jane Chu. Grace A. Spinner. Christina Danielle Langan. Sydney Elizabeth Silverman. Brittany Rochelle Krasnoff. Maya Jean Califano. Danielle O'Shea. Max Robinson McNaughton. Brenda Sopichoti. Joseph Andrew Frito Jr. Emmanuel Clovis. Sean Tomer Brain. Sasha Alice Severin. Michelle Vassbaum. Ryan David Sandler. Sophia Catherine Chris. Vanessa Paola Fuzzini. <laughs> Bodana Postolovoska. Viola Viven. <laughs> Samuel Sungjo Kim. Alexis Riviera. Patricia I Ibriam. Jason Zeng. Nicole Carey. Alana Monique Morse. Sonali Malhotra. Kyle Vincent Donnery. Taylor Nicole Pomilio. Julia Mendy. Catherine Monroe. Karen Huang. Mary R. Toroto. Eric Delval. Raphael Marco. James Killian Hickey. Kyla Leanne Garcia. 
Lily Ron. I would now like to ask everyone to rise as they are able as we sing the Binghamton University alma mater. We invite everyone to join in singing the refrain and second verse. The lyrics may be found on the back cover of the commencement program. Baccalaureate degree candidates, please remain standing. Everyone else may be seated. President Stenger, I am honored to present to you these candidates for the baccalaureate degree by the university. For those who have successfully completed all degree requirements by the authority vested in me by the Chancellor and the Board of Trustees of the State University of New York, and the Board of Regents of the University of the State of New York, I confer on each of you the appropriate baccalaureate degree with all the rights and privileges accompanying it. On behalf of the Binghamton University community, I congratulate you all for this well-earned accomplishment. As is customary, upon conferral of the baccalaureate degree, you may now move the tassel on your cap from the right to the left.
The spring commencement proceedings of the State University of New York at Binghamton are now concluded. We kindly ask the audience to remain seated for the academic recessional. Once the academic recessional is completed, please exit as soon as you are able to allow the graduates and families of the next ceremony to enter. Thank you. 